When we were in school, the mantra was Honda Tiganagana, Honda Rasawa Karan. So basically, you went to school, you got an education, you left school, you went to work, and then you worked till you retired. Now, of course, education isn't only about preparing you for work, but that's a topic we'll take up in a separate video. But that formula itself overall worked fairly well. My father studied up to what would now be O levels. He was able to get a job at a bank and that was good enough for him to support his family. But then O levels wasn't enough, you needed A levels. Then that wasn't enough, you needed a degree. And now even that's not enough, you need additional qualifications as well. But even as all this educational requirement was increasing, and even if it wasn't necessarily a guarantee of a job, there was at least this sense of these are the kind of jobs education is preparing you for and therefore these are the things you need to learn and there was a reasonable match between those two. But now with the fourth industrial revolution things are changing so fast that we can't do that. We don't really have an idea what kind of jobs will be most in demand 10, 20 years from now. So how can we really have an education system that prepares children for that kind of a society. It's why we are now talking about this concept of lifelong learning because it's not possible that you have learning up to some time, then you finish learning and then you start working, but rather there's this ongoing learning that continues while you are working. But how do you make lifelong learning work? So the conventional approach to education reform is you change the syllabus. If learning this isn't what is required, then let's learn this instead. But that's a really sad way to do lifelong learning because it means that somebody else has decided what we need to learn. So is our whole life going to be, when we say lifelong learning, is our whole life going to be learning what somebody else has decided we should learn? And is that even going to work when we don't, when we are not able to predict in, in a long term, what kind of things we need. So if we take schools 4.0, we look at a syllabus differently. Really, there's only two things. The first thing is figuring out what is it that I want to learn about or I want to experience. So this could be because I'm curious about understanding how something works. I have an interest in changing something or fixing something or doing something in a different way. It could be that I'm inspired about some art uh, artistic experience or spiritual experience and I want to feel have that experience or it could be even something that I don't really like but I understand that I need to have this in order to do what I need to do so that's the first part and the second part is how do I go about doing that so what are the resources I can use who are the people I can connect with how much time, energy, effort do I want to spend on doing this? How do I know when I have got the required level of mastery in this so that I can move on? And for whatever number of years you're inside the school, we are just repeating the same two steps over and over again. And that means we'll be having a greater level of mastery in this. So whenever we graduate from school, and whether we go into employment or higher education or we are studying while working, whenever we figure out that there's something we can't do because we haven't learned how to do it, we know how to go about learning it with the appropriate level of resources and time, and then we can move on. I mean, if you, if you think about it, we already do this, right? Like if you take something like Excel, if we want to do some, uh, let's say pivot tables, Right? When we have a need to use a pivot table, we'll watch a tu tutorial about it and we'll do the pivot tables and we'll get our work done. We don't like do a one-year course in Excel just because we need to use a pivot table. Right? But if you're not used to that sort of self-driven learning, then you'll have to like go to Excel course or something like that because you don't know how to figure this out for yourself. So when there's so much information available out there, what we need is not to program all this information into students because information is growing faster than people can remember all of them but we need to have the mastery in how to figure out what to access and how to go about using it in a way that makes sense to you.